Hi everyone, welcome to the next episode of the Explain series with our host, Dr. Brett Palmer. And today we're going to be talking about semen colour, what it means for your health. Well, uh, let's start at the beginning, shall we? So before uh, a guy reaches uh, puberty, they, um, a lot of uh, boys can then ejaculate. It would be clear semen, so that's like thick water or egg white. Uh, sort of uh, colour, so basically a, a, a clear viscous uh, material and as you hit puberty and go through puberty it will go from clear to uh, a white colour uh, and uh, it, it tends to stay like that. After a while it can then go on to become a little bit greyish uh, or sometimes um, a slight creamier uh, colour with a, a, a tinge of yellowness uh, but not full-blown yellow or, or green that's that's a bad thing we'll come on to that later uh, and so and you can get different uh, uh, colours it can go bright white uh, to greyish to a tinge of yellow and it can go back to those colours and that depends on your diet and how fit you are if you want to make your sperm very unhealthy uh, the quickest way to do it is have a bad diet and smoke smoking being uh, far, far worse. You are obviously, uh, you are what you eat and consume. And so the quickest way of getting a healthy sperm is to quit smoking. That includes vaping and patches and all the other bits and pieces around it because nicotine is not great. Uh, and then uh, have a, incorporate a healthy diet and then regular exercise and a good night's sleep. And last but not least, stay hydrated. So a lot of guys uh, think uh, about, oh, my semen's a little bit thick. Um, and having thick semen is uh, not great. You want it to be uh, a little bit fluid, but not too runny. And if you are, uh, have too thick semen, it actually reduces your fertility. Uh, the most common cause of thick semen is simply dehydration. Uh, so just make sure you uh, drink plenty. If you want to know if you're dehydrated, just look at the color of your urine. If your urine is dark, you're dehydrated. And it should be more like a, a light wine. If you have yellow or green semen, uh, this is uh, usually a bad sign. It's usually a sign of uh, infection, usually. If all your sexual health tests come back clear and you still have yellow semen, uh, it could very well be you're over the age of 40, uh, which means uh, you could be leaking a little bit of urine. And if you do leak a little bit of urine, uh, it could simply just mean you're getting a bit older, your prostate's probably getting a little bit large, you could have a, a weak uh, pelvic floor muscles. Uh, another term you may uh, find on the internet is uh, leukocytospermia. Now, leukocytospermia is basically pus. Um, and so if you're getting a lot of uh, pus uh, in your sperm, it's tend that tends to be yellow uh, 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 colour as well. Then as far as I'm concerned, it's unitect. It's a sexually transmitted infection until proven otherwise and then you can look at something else. Uh, if you have got lots of pus in your uh, sperm uh, then you will need a course of antibiotics. So if you have pink, red, brown or orange semen this is usually an indication of some kind of uh, blood. So uh, pink is uh, dilute blood, red is fresh blood, brown is um, old blood and orange is blood that's been broken down. If you ejaculate and you ejaculate uh, sperm and a bit of blood, uh, and the blood can either be a little bit beforehand, mixed in or afterwards, if it happens once and then it goes away, don't worry about it too much, especially if it's after a particularly active and enthusiastic bout of sex. It could be an internal injury and it's uh, got a little bit better. If it happens more than once, you see your doctor straight away. Um, because you do need to be cleared for infections, but you also need to be cleared for more sinister causes as well. For example, cancers. Uh, if you're peeing blood and it doesn't hurt, you're just peeing blood and you're just saying, oh, I'm peeing blood. Uh, so there's a few things you've got to think about there. It could be bladder cancer, and so that's why getting these things checked out very, very quickly is very important. Uh, it could be uh, a non-pathological problem, like a, a cyst in the kidneys that's burst, and then uh, that eventually means you pee uh, dilute blood. Uh, sometimes it can be pink, sometimes it can be red. But don't sit on it, see a doctor. That's uh, the take home message with uh, pink semen, red semen, brown or orange semen. There is, you can get, so uh, the other one is black semen you can get. Uh, black semen is usually heavy metal or other toxins and so it needs to be checked out immediately. To cut the long story short, when do you see a doctor? Uh, if something is uh, abnormally different and you're not used to it, 
uh, then you see a doctor straight away uh, and they will test you for array of sexually transmitted infections, or they should do, uh, and then they should be able to uh, do further investigations if those investigations are uh, negative. For example, ultrasounds, other scans, if they're urologists, they may consider doing cystoscopy uh, and other bits and pieces. But don't don't forget about it. It's very important to get these things uh, sorted out and nailed down. Thanks very much. Take care.